Hi everyone, it's been quite a while since I put out a video. That's not because I've lacked things to say, but rather because I've just been so busy. It's been insane, period. So I'd like to comment a little on some new directions uh, of my interests and follow up uh, so that people can understand some of the additional benefits that we are now pursuing regarding the use of cannabis as medicine. It turns out that, very sadly, the United States and other areas of the world that have had HIV under control as a result of the use of antiretroviral drugs, unfortunately, those patients are now developing resistance to those drugs. What that means is that opportunistic and associated malignancies uh, with HIV are now returning. And one of the leading indicators of that is the return of Carposi sarcoma, which appears to be a skin cancer, but really is a blood vessel cancer that surfaces on the skin. If you remember back to the 80s and 90s when people uh, were coming down with AIDS and Carposis because we did not have any effective antiretrovirals at the time, that's what we're talking about returning. It's, it's a horrendous, very painful disease, and there's really no effective treatment. Conventional medicine, slice, dice, burn, freeze, poison, uh, have not been very effective. And sadly, there are thousands and thousands of people with Carposis in Africa that go completely untreated in terms of just simple pain relief uh, and, and providing anything to ease uh, the, the pain of their exit. Uh, fortunately, we've shown now that cannabis extracts can be very, very effective in treating carposis. So we're dealing with one of the world's leading cancers. It's certainly uh, the leading cancer in Africa. And the drug resistance that is occurring now means that we're seeing carposis coming back in the United States and other you know, so-called developed countries that uh, are treating at least a significant number of people with HIV with these antiretrovirals. So here we are in a bizarre situation. Pharmaceutical companies go to Africa to test out their drugs. Their drugs cost such ridiculous amounts of money that nobody in Africa really benefits from them. At least the bulk of the population does not benefit. Um, here in the United States, where we treat a significantly greater number of HIV patients, uh, the return of carposis is going to cost our country uh, countless millions of dollars in treatment, uh, and essentially ineffective treatment because in the absence of effective uh, antiretrovirals, the immune system collapses, and we wind up having uh, this explosion of this disease that's just now beginning. Unfortunately, the CDC, Center for Communicable Diseases, uh, they have not been following carposis. Uh, they thought that everything is uh, put to rest by the fact that we have the antiretrovirals. But the, what, what we're seeing now really is a widespread collapse. There are many, many people coming down with carposis, And in general, it's, it's fatal. So uh, you can put that into remission with cannabis extracts. And it's something that could be made effectively, cost effectively, uh, throughout the world, especially in poor countries like exist in Africa. Uh, this has become a major concern for the United States government because uh, literally, aside from individual states like Nigeria, where we get light sweet crude oil from, uh, collapsing due to a 25% of population-wide rate of HIV infection, similar things are happening throughout Africa. And uh, there could literally be a social collapse of individual countries as well as the continent. So, of course, this is of major concern to the United States, both for humanitarian reasons as well as really uh, national security issues. Al-Qaeda is already in Nigeria, and there are certainly uh, issues throughout Africa regarding uh, those types of organizations. So, once again, looks like cannabis can be 
a very significant savior of people, of suffering, and of finances. So there's a little update for what's going on in the world, uh, in my world, and uh, I think that this issue is so important and so dramatic that it's going to force a change globally as well as in the United States of cannabis policies and certainly the ongoing persistent absurd ridiculous denial of medical value of cannabis uh, is certainly not uh, sustainable scientifically and humanitarianly and economically so have a good day everyone be active let's change the world <laughs>